Hi there. I was a little bit anxious that we were getting quite bogged down into the specifics of um, the Gauss Markov assumption. So I, I just wanted to, us to take a step back and look at where we are in the sort of schematic of undergraduate course of econometrics. So as with anything in econometrics, we've got some sort of population and instead of actually having all the data from that population, we only have a sample from that population. And the idea is that we are using some sort of econometric technique, some sort of tool to make inferences about the population from that sample of data. So first of all, when we're talking about econometrics, we first discuss um, the technique of using ordinary least squares. And we've spoken about the sort of Gauss Markov assumptions. If um, these Gauss Markov assumptions are upheld, then it turns out that OLS estimators happen to be blue. So they're the best linear unbiased estimators. So that essentially means that our estimators, when applied to a sample of data, actually are quite good for making inferences about population parameters. The next thing which we are about to go and talk about is the sort of diagnostic test um, or diagnostic tests, which we can apply to our model um, to try and understand whether the Gauss Markov assumptions are being upheld. So if each of these tests comes out okay, so our model passes these diagnostic tests, which means that the sort of Gauss Markov assumptions are likely upheld, then OLS estimators are likely going to be blue. So that means they're quite a good thing to use for inference about the population. But if, which is often the case, these diagnostic tests or one or more of these diagnostic tests is um, going to come out as negative, in which case our model sort of fails some of these Gauss Markov criteria, then it turns out that OLS is no longer blue. If that's the case, then we need to start thinking about formulating other types of estimator, which they may be blue, um, they may not be quite as good as that, they may, may just be consistent. Um, but essentially what it comes down to, we're gonna sort of derive these other types of estimator. Um, so an example might be GLS, um, IV estimation, or maximum likelihood estimation. And these estimators now are gonna allow us to make good inferences about the population given only a sample of data. And importantly, some of these estimators may allow us to make inferences about the population, even though some of the Gauss Markov criteria are violated. So anyway, we're just about to go and discuss some of these diagnostic tests. So I will see you there in the next video.